True guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be like a sequel uh, to the previous video guys. We have been seeing how to bring in payments inside your Flutter applications using the uh, Stripe payment system, right? Uh, in our previous video, we saw how to uh, add a card that is how to get the details from the card details from the end user and then create a token uh, for it and then uh, change that token to uh, I mean create a customer using that particular token and then saving that entire card onto our system now we'll see how to uh, charge that particular card okay you can see here right once you have securely collected and tokenized your customers credit card using check order elements you can send charge the card immediately or save it for later so far what we have done is we have used the stripe payment plugin uh, and then got this token and then using that token we particularly used cloud functions uh, uh in order to uh, add that particular user as a customer on our stripe system this customer right yesterday we saw this right and then what we did uh we simply got that customer's id and changed yeah as you can see here we saved that particular customer and his payment source that is the card that he entered to our uh, firebase system right now we'll see as per the documentation, the next thing we can do is you can immediately charge the card or save it and then charge it at a later point of time. Now we'll exactly see how to charge that particular card for that for a purchase that the customer makes. For instance, he purchases something from your application and uh, how you can uh, uh, you know charge the user for that particular purchase that he made. So what we need to do is uh, get back into our code. This is what we have so far, right? Now this is the uh, cloud functions function that we wrote. This is the app with that we have so far. We just have a green color button right in the center, right? So after this raised button, I'll have uh, some product name. Fine. Uh, and uh, another button maybe. And this button will be a red colored button and uh, instead of add card it will simply be buy and i'll have a variable that will have a rate double price 5.0 item price equals 5.0 uh, in here instead of this i'll simply go ahead and add a Wait, let me get into payment service and then uh, buy item price uh, once again firebase auth dot instance dot current user dot then user uh, firestore dot instance dot collection uh, cards dot document uh, sorry user dot uad dot uh, collection here we'll create a new collection uh, that will be like charges dot add we should go ahead and uh, currency uh, usd stripe actually supports like 26 currencies i think no, it's actually supported in 26 countries. I don't know how many exactly how many currencies it supports. Amount amount will be sorry. Amount will be uh, processed price uh, and the description will be purchase of product. Fine. Now, uh, where is this processed price coming from? Where is this processed price coming from? We haven't yet calculated, right? Now, why did I use this process price? It's already a double, right? I could simply use that here. The reason is simple. Uh, for, uh, Stripe always charges in the cents, okay? So if it's just, uh, if you specify it as $5, then it's 500 cents. If it's 4.49, then it's 4.49 cents. Similarly, if it's four and a half dollars it's 4.50 cents, similarly. So uh, what I'll do is processed, sorry, process price will be price multiplied by 100. You understood why we did this, right? 
the reason is as i said flutter i mean not flutter stripe uh, uh, does all its transactions in cents not dollars right so that's the reason why we are multiplying the price by 100 and then simply uh, saving it uh, as such now we have a button upon tapping upon which it will uh, do this particular uh, operation on the firestore uh, collection we'll save this and uh, here what i'll do is i'll simply give payment service dot uh, by you uh, get the flow now right uh, we simply have a button a buy button uh, upon tapping upon which we are simply adding a document to a uh, sub collection called charges which is present inside the original cards collection that we had previously while we were saving this particular card now how do we actually connect to stripe and then make this charging happen for that let's get back into our uh, cloud functions this is our cloud functions right we have a function for adding a stripe source we will similarly write a function for uh, charging the customer exports dot uh, create stripe or we can simply do simply like charge equals functions dot firestore dot uh, document once again exactly like what we did previously cards this will be some user id and uh, charges uh, uh, charge id fine and this will be on create i'll bring this to the next line on create this will be an asynchronous method async uh, mm, charge snap dot context and this will be a function inside this function what i'll write is uh, we'll first do a try catch try uh, constant uh, um card snap equals await firestore dot collection of cards uh, dot document context dot params dot user id user id dot get we are simply uh, getting this i mean we are simply getting this particular document okay so i am simply using the user id uh, to get this particular document and once i got that particular document what i'll do is uh, mm, constant customer customer id equals uh, uh, card snap dot data dot customer id this id okay this id i'm using it and uh, constant amount equals uh, mm, charge snap dot data dot amount constant currency equals charge snap dot data dot currency currency fine constant constant description equals charge snap dot data dot description fine uh, now oh sorry now we have something uh, that will get us all the data uh, now i'll create a charge constant charge equals uh, fine you have you got all these data this data is nothing but the one that we you just did uh, saved it here right this exact data is the one that's being transferred over here and we have the customer id uh, so that we know on whose card we are going to be performing this transaction and uh, the next thing is uh, we'll create a item potent key context dot params dot charge id what's this item potent key item potent key as far as i know uh, it's like creating a unique identifier that will uh, 
enable the system to recognize it as the same transaction whenever the transaction is being retrieved guys suppose uh, sometimes the transaction uh, might not complete fully and there will be a retry operation right in that case uh, uh, the system should know that the transaction hasn't yet completed and this is simply a retry operation and not a new operation right so that's when this item item potent key will uh, come into action Uh, uh, you will see that i mean you will understand it in a better way as we finish this uh, after this constant uh, response equals await stripe dot charges dot create uh, charge uh, item potent key sorry item potent c key uh this key i can simply give my key that i just created an important key and i'll close this and uh mm, return uh charge snap dot ref dot set uh if this is successful that is if we are able to create a charge on the uh, saved card then i'll simply set the response to the uh, uh, document that was created when i created this charge right there will be a particular document that will be created under a sub collection called charges in the firestore collection and uh, that particular document's creation only will trigger this entire function right since i have given it as on create that particular documents uh, creation only will be triggering this entire function now we'll get all this data try to attempt to charge the particular card a particular customer for that particular purchase and then if it is successful then i'll simply merge the response with the uh, document that originally triggered this function you get it right now what i'll do is um, if this is uh, failure this fails then i should do a catch error and uh, inside this i'll simply do a await uh, charge snap dot ref dot set uh, error error dot message and this again will be sorry merge if it is if it results in an error then i'll simply create a new field call error uh, in this particular document and then store what was the error message in that particular field that's it okay now let's save this now we have a function that will attempt to create a, i mean attempt to charge the customer for this particular transaction and we also have a button that will enable the customer to buy something using his mobile device right over here let's run this application on our device and see uh, whether a charge is being created for this particular user if a charge was uh, successful if the charging was successful then we'll be able to see that particular transaction in our stripe uh, dashboard as well so let's see uh, how this functions well, first let's go ahead and uh, deploy this on to our cloud functions so that uh, all right uh, that has been deployed guys everything is fine now let's just go ahead and try to see if everything works so i'll first log in okay uh, it logged in and now we have two options add card and the product and the buy button we'll just try to tap on this buy button we should be charged five dollars for uh, our purchase let's see if it's successful or if it uh, results in an error i just tapped on it wow it created a uh, sub collection called charges let's see if our charging was successful if it was successful then let's see wow it was successful guys as you can see here uh, the amount was 100 and then we have an entire uh, this entire charge along with the charge id and everything is present here right paid through and uh, payment complete seller message payment complete and everything 
now let's get into uh, stripe and see if this transaction has appeared on our uh, wait you can see that uh, the five dollars has been uh, credited on to our system here right the payment is succeeded as you can see here i'll just tap on this payment succeeded customer tested t.com payment method the card that we saved previously you remember all this uh, stuff right and uh, it has reduced the fee. The Stripe charges a fee, guys. There is actually a small fee of uh, uh, anything somewhere around 3% plus 2.9% plus uh, 30 cents, I think, for every transaction uh, using your card, something like that. Uh, so yeah, this charge is now successful and it has appeared on our dashboard as well, right? So uh, yeah, this is how you could uh, charge the customer using his saved card uh, once you have uh, once he tries to make a purchase in your flutter applications uh, with the help of stripe guys so yeah this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys uh, if you really like this video kindly hit the like button if you uh, like what i'm doing on this channel kindly subscribe to this channel uh, and click the bell icon so that you get notifications each and every time i upload a new video uh, yeah guys a lot of people were asking me about uh, payment gateways with stripe and so yeah this is how you add a customer and then charge that customer for a particular purchase that he makes and uh, uh, subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye